of Mallory, Marianne, Sue, and all librarians with uh, GST School Library System. I'm going to show how to add an RSS feed to Campbell Savona, and it can be moved anywhere. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do is click the pencil to log into the editor. Um, so we're in the editor, and I see we have President's Day. Whoa, this is nice. Darn. Valentine's Day. Um, I could put it right here, or I could make a tab for RSS feeds. Let me just start with doing it right here so you can see how it's done and moving a uh, widget around. So I'm down in the lower left corner. I'm going to click RSS. Anytime you add a new widget to a tab, it'll always, always be at the very bottom on the far right side. Let's move it up here just below the Panthers, or I could put it above the Panthers. Maybe I'll do that. So I'm going to left click the four arrows, and I'm pushing up my mouse, and I'm going to go above the Panthers. There we go. So I've got the RSS feed up here by moving it with a left click over the four arrows. Now I'll put an RSS feed in. I'm going to add uh, Today in History that I happen to have right off the bat. I'm going to put the title and description. Uh, we'll show the first three. I don't even know if we need that, the first three. Usually it's one will be enough. Let's see. Okay. So there's Today in History. That's fine. Now it does push down your Campbell Savona Panthers, um, but only if someone were to click it. Then you could put a tab here and type RSS feeds and then do the same thing, add RSS feeds uh, using your widget at the bottom. I won't do that on the site now. Um, I'm just going to keep it right here today in history. Okay. Second. While I'm here at the site, I thought I'd show also how to add a private tab for the libraries and library staff. To do that, we're going to click the plus sign. We have library staff. I'll use three columns. I'm turning it off for everyone except librarians. On your, at your site, it might say library staff, uh, librarian assistants, whatever. Um, I'm just going to click it for librarians. You could also click here. All right. I'm just going to use it here for this one today. I'll just make it this color. There we go. And now we've got three columns, free text down at the bottom. And I'm going to move this to the far left with the four arrows with my left click and drop it. I'll add another free text. Second. Oops. There we go. I'll move this in the middle. And let's say you're thinking of this spring or next fall, a book display, an actual physical display in the library. You could have a library showcase here, fill it with ideas, and then consult it when you're ready for the actual display. So I'm going to hit Library Showcase. And I'm going to look for books um, on spring. Oops. Sorry, made a mistake. Hang on. I'm going to go back um, for just a second. There we go. Showcase title, spray. Sorry about this. Uh, I'm going to select items. I'm going to look for uh, keyword spring. And I'm going to go through a few books here. Uh, uh, Spring stinks. No, it doesn't. Not if you live in the Northeast. The reason for seasons. I'm just going to pick a couple that might be nice. Okay, when spring comes. All right. That's good enough. So I filled it with a few books, thinking of using those books maybe this April. And I can refer to it here. I'm going to click Done. I've got two empty Free text, you could put passwords in there for databases, ideas, whatever you like, and then come here to this private tab to edit these as needed. I'm going to save and exit. Because I'm logged in as library staff, I'm seeing the tab. I'm going to log out, and you'll see that the tab will disappear. I'm logging out, top right corner, and now my library staff tab is gone. But yet, here is my Today in History. I hope this clip helps.
All the best.